Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro and today Apple has released iOS 15.1 Beta 1 to all developers today. Came out with 6.3 gigabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. On my iPhone 12 Pro Max and I installed it. Bill number is 19B5042H and there are about 9 new features and changes that I found in its update today. So let's get started. Okay, so in FaceTime, SharePlay has now returned. So you guys see when I tap on it, you can see SharePlay is now back in iOS 15.1. So they previously removed it in iOS 15 beta 6, and now it's been added back in 15.1 beta 1. So Apple's done this before in iOS 12 with group FaceTime. So group FaceTime in iOS 12 had the same kind of similar results. So it was removed in, in the initial release of iOS 12, but then added back in 12.1. Well, that's basically how it's beginning to work with SharePlay. SharePlay is now returning in 15.1. FaceTime, you'll notice that there's a brand new icon for announced calls. Previously, it was a chat bubble with an arrow, but now we have a video camera icon with a little little voice icon in the bottom corner. In settings, if you go to camera, go down to the very bottom, do you see there's a brand new link for about camera privacy? So previously on iOS 15.0, that did not exist, but now we have it in 15.1. And weather, if you go to City's Outlook, go down to the very bottom, you'll notice that the icon for the weather channel has now been added back. Previously that was removed in iOS 15.0, but now that's been added back in 15.1. So previously, you had to go down to the very bottom of your city you're currently looking at to see it, but now you can go to Weather Outlook for your cities and look at it down here now. In Safari, if you look at the text for favorites or share view, you'll notice that the gray box on 15.0 has now been removed on 15.1 beta 1. And the show all button is now underlined and now has the bu bubble around the arrow. Next, the ability, if you go to voiceover, scroll down towards this quick settings, you'll notice a brand new description for quick settings. Previously, there is no description, but now the description telling you what quick settings does. In settings, if you go to accessibility, go down to audio and visual, go down to where it says balance, you'll notice a little new meter telling you the percentage of the left or right balance for your headphones or speakers. Previously, we didn't have that on 15.0 or earlier, but now I will add a little meter telling you how far you put the balance for right or left. In the app switcher, you'll notice that on iOS 15.1, the animation for scrolling through your opened apps is a little bit smoother than it was on 15.0. Previously, it, it kind of jumped when you scrolled through it, but now you can see it's a little bit smoother. It doesn't do it as often, but it still does a little bit, but not as badly as it did in 15 or earlier. So smoother app switcher animation in 15.1. It's very hard to see it, but it is there. So. That is pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. Smash the video. Peace out.